morning, everybody. I'm going to wait a few minutes before if anybody joins. And then we will do just start out learning how to do the basic strength training. I want to start out by teaching you guys how to move your body well, and then we can go from there. I have learned that when I don't move my body in the right way, that yeah, you can injure yourself or you know you do it with bad form and you work the wrong part of your body. So today we are going to work on Elisa's basic strength. And I'm going to put on the Rev TV on hers, and she is going to show us how to do those. And then we will we will go from there afterwards, and we will add on and tack on things that um, we've worked on. So we'll wait a few more minutes, see if anybody joins, and then up. we will get a great workout and worship the Lord this way. Last class I did, I forgot. I've got my cheat sheet right in front of me. And I did not did not say things that I wanted to say right away. So I want you guys to move like you and nobody else. And even though we are online right now, I would love to do a class in person. But so right now at this time, we're going to do it online. And I want you to think that you have blinders on. Blinders. And you are only looking to the Lord to cheer you on. You know. I move like nobody else, you move like nobody else, because we are all made different. And why I'm starting out with all of the basic strength is to move well, move well with form. And you start out at a good spot as we go along this journey. Um, this, one, this one I have a little bit of a hard time with. Still, and that is no negative self-talk. And I have to remind myself to take my mind captive, almost like putting yourself on putting your thoughts on trial. I've learned that through the wellness revelations that we need to take our thoughts captive and we need to push those on trial. Because of those who we say are those our thoughts who we say who we think they are? No. And there is no judgment and no shame. So if you have to take a rest, take a rest. If you have to take a water break, let me tell you, I love my water and I need to take water breaks. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be a lot for me. I I need that water. I've come to realize that. So we'll have breaks, just so you know. <laughs> and have fun. To have fun. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Move. Be uncomfortable. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. And if you feel like you're doing a move that is really odd and really strange, it probably means that you're doing it right. And don't worry about what anybody else thinks, what your family thinks, 
fur animal thing. I mean, let me tell you, my fur animal thing is crazy. So, all right, I'm going to get started. Let me get Elisa's up and running. And have a wonderful day, everybody. I had this up and running. Stay away from me. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, let's see if this works. I've been in the fitness field for many, many years. And once upon a time, I had the first time that I did some basic strength training. And here's the truth. There is never any move that I am too good for. It is really good for me to come back to basics for myself. So today's workout will really be for those of you who are just getting going or any of you that are like, I'm getting so ahead of myself. I need to check my form, I need to get back into my body, I need to slow down. So that will be part of today's challenge to all of us uh, is that the tempo, I purposely picked it slower. And I might have you go on and off the music a bit so that you can move at your pace, but if we match the music, it is, 
it is uh, specifically chosen to be slow so that you actually have to feel the eccentric, the lengthening of the muscle and the shortening. We often feel a shortening, but we don't often think about the lengthening of the muscle. The muscle does shortening and lengthening to create muscle fiber. So it's all good. We just don't want to get so ahead of uh, momentum or any momentum that we then lose that form. We forget to be in our body because here at Revolution Wellness, that is truly what we're about. We want you to have full body presence. This is your home. This is in here, this tent is where you live, right here. It's an earthly tent, it is broken, it is aging, it's all those things, and it's wonderful. So get into your body today, okay? Um, you will need, well, actually, you don't need hands. So if you're just getting going, and I'm like with the squats or the lunges, any of that, you are free to just do your body weight, because that is weight. So just do your body weight. If you want to get basic, five pounds, eight pounds. Uh, if you are a straight trainer all the time, go ahead and bump up from a heavier weight. We're going to move slower. I promise you, even the people that train usually in weight training, today's workout, you're going to be challenged because I'm asking you to slow down um, and then find your own tempo a bit. So we'll be in and out of some challenging moments. It's really not about the muscle. What we are here to do is to increase your faith. Faith is like a muscle, and you can and are increasing it under the tension of all the things that come against to steal your faith, to cause you to doubt, to make it up unbelief, okay? So I'm going to press into Hebrews 11, one today that says, and this is from the Passion Translation, one of my favorite new versions. Um, it's great to read different versions and highlight things in a different way, but the essence, the substance of the scripture is still there. And Hebrews 11, one says, now faith brings our hopes into reality. I say that a million times. Faith creates and becomes the foundation needed to acquire the things we long for. It is all the evidence required to prove what is still unseen. Faith proves itself that something I can't see yet will happen. It's a, it's a continuum. It's a live now as it would then. Faith says something now that we know will come, and it's the waiting time that often causes us the most unbelief or doubt, and it's there. It's good tension. Any tension, much like today when we do the resistance, any tension we feel is not against us. It's for us. So let's align our thoughts, our feelings, I feel and I believe, in aligning with faith that brings our hopes into reality. There is a reality of an unseen world. It's right here, all around you right now. You know what it's doing? Carrying you on. It's excited that you want to bring your heart, mind, soul, and strength into a worshipful moment of giving God all who you are. Okay? All right. Let's get going. We're going to go with a warm up. Okay. Let me talk a little bit about posture. We all have some dysfunction. So, are you a tucker, a tilter, or a tucker with your hips? I'm a little bit of a tilter. So, make sure you drop that tailbone down a little bit. Shoulders back. Make sure you top. Take a deep breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Again, inhale. Lift your knees a little bit. We're going to work the muscles up again. Inhale up. Exhale. Good. Just march in place. March. If you want, you can take a little job. Shifting your weight. But basic. One foot on the ground, really pick up your knees. Good. Arms, shoulders, not the elbows. Good. Good. Again, take it. If you want to jump rope, you can do that. Get your shoulders back, tail them down just a bit. Good. Marching, large jumping rope, take Get your heart up and get your hopes up. Your hopes come up, your faith and death is in.
sweeping quads or six pack downs. Not that that's ever our goal around here, but given that you do the movement, that you make good choices, and eat foods that are kind to your body, think about that are kind to your life, you will see changes. It's a lot of sewing and reaping. Just do your push ups. <laughs> Exhale up. Keep doing it. Let me talk to you. Engage your tummy. Keep counting them out. Three more. Two more. One more. Uh -huh. Well done. Give someone a high five. Give the unseen a high five. All right. Next move.
your pace. Exhale up to C. Open your heart. Two more. Two. One. Oh my gosh. Listen, I can't believe it's fast. Because it's interrupting my usual pace. Your own pace. Come on. Like you have a tennis ball. Is what we are training. Here you can do. Bend the knees just a bit. Feet hip open apart. Bend the knees. Tail down under. Shoulders back. Get my neutral spine. Now, you're going to begin what we call an RDL. So you're going to bend and soften your knees just a bit. Let the weights kind of come down, come up, and clean it all the way through. Here's the thing this is kind of a complex move. Two.
are the things we long for. Right now, you need a steady foundation to even get these weights in there. Core, work on your core. As sure as there is a foundation on your feet right now, in the seen world, there is a greater one in the unseen. The problem is, we only know what we see, we put faith in what we feel, instead of our faith. Overriding what we feel. It matters. It doesn't mean to discount it. And you have to shift it from something great to this space. Short of what you hope for. Hope coming into reality. And I love that word, reality. Problem is, we've skewed the word in today's society. We have reality shows, or we think we know reality, we don't even know anymore because what we see as reality has tainted, authentic. No video. Really get Not your booty out. Right? I changed for video. Two more. Two. One more. Three. Ah. Well done. And my boot tracks are on you. I was saying, you can cut us from that. Fifteen. Two. Your own pace. Your own pace. Oh, come on. So I am not able to see my elbows. Because now all I can see are my weights. Because my elbows are stacking at the side body. Five. Try to keep your shoulders out of your ears. Oh, three more. Two more. You guys, I am pressing into the earth. So strong. One more. Ah, well done. Okay, get your two. Woo! It's starting to stack up, isn't it? It's like a, a strong fire burning in you. Let's go ahead, step into your two. Now, we're going to go single side leg lifts. Now, here's what I did. Depending on how much tension you want, closer to your feet, less tension. The further I jump down, the more attention I'm going to have when I side leg lift. Two, three, four. Now, you're already noticing I'm really shifting my weight too much. So I just want to subtly shift into my standing leg. How many is that? Five more. Five. I'm doing it without weight, oh. without the resistance. Three again. Yeah. Two, one more. Other side. One, two, three, up, four, three, five. Take your time. Six. Move well.
because something can come that's going to try to burn down my faith. And that's when I go get my reserve. I get my scrap. And I throw my love to faith on the fire. Good. Being sure of what God has said. Build something in you. Because the world <laughs> will try to snatch it. One, two, plant your foot. Four. Your standing foot. Seal your eyes by your kick the heel out. Nine. Anyone else dripping sweat down your spine? Amen. Plant. Take the tension. What's my count? How much? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Three. Make your mouth. Fourteen. Fire your breath.
I take something that looks kind of good and tidy, huh? right? Look how great I am. And I start to create dysfunction in myself. Two, one, go now.
actually put the opposite one. That's it. So your left knee is back forward, your left hand is down. Breathe, 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 down. Exhale, switch, opposite knee bends. Really good. Faith is completely what the unseen one was made of. A hundred percent made of. And in you is faith. Hopes, dreams, desires, in the back of your mind. Exhale, fold that God has placed in you. Bend your knees and round yourself all the way up. Give you one more minute to open your heart. Tailbone comes under. Get that function or get that dysfunction out. Shoulders back, lace your knuckles, lift your heart. Breathe. Drop your ear to one side and then the other. Arms up, inhale. Hands right down on your heart. The inside of you is safe. The kingdom says, I need it. It's a substance of yet to come. It's the same as a mustard seed. Just the seed of this thing can create. It doesn't change. Because faith brings our hopes into reality. It becomes the foundation. The very thing we stand on to acquire the things we want to do. It's all the evidence of life to fill what it stands. So the next time it's ever seen and it's yet to come, you grab your chip of faith, put it on the table, and remember all that is seen and unseen. The child of God, thank you. Thank you, God, for this time. Thank you for what you're doing, and you're rebuilding our brains, our bodies, and increasing our strength, but mostly our faith. And we say that is a measure of our faith. In Jesus' name. Hey guys, they did good job, basic strength. Well, I hope that was a good time and we will be doing those again. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy, enjoy the Lord today.